Well, they're calling it the world's cheapest car, just 2,500 US dollars. India's Tata Nano says it aims to meet the needs of the country's growing middle class. But critics say the Nano will only mean more congestion on India's roads and increase air and noise pollution. Matt McClure has more from Delhi. On India's roads, there are currently five times as many motorcycles as cars. Two wheels is what the common man can afford, what he and his family depend on to get around. But salary earners like Naveen, members of the country's growing middle class, yearn for something better, the comfort and status that only four wheels can convey. Basically, whenever you see a good car, any new brand or some kind of uh, a big luxury car, so everybody has a dream to buy that one, but you know, it's you cannot afford it. Tata Motors thinks it has a solution with the much-awaited launch of its Nano, a plastic and metal jelly bean of a vehicle powered by a puny 33-horsepower engine that will hit showrooms later this year. There's unprecedented media and public interest in the launch of this vehicle, not because of any frills it contains, but rather because of the price. 100,000 rupees, or about $2,500. Produce this car. That makes it the world's cheapest car. But even at that price, Tata says the vehicle meets or exceeds international safety and emission standards. Today, with this engine, we'll indeed meet Euro 4, which is not yet required in this country. Other Indian manufacturers are rushing to follow suit, unveiling their own low-cost prototypes. Experts predict these small cars will garner big sales. While one part of India remains poor and remains very poor, there's another side of India, but one third of India is now getting seriously rich. They want a car, yeah, they, they want new uh, home decorations, they want, uh, they want the things of good life. But more vehicles on India's already crowded roads will be a disaster, say environmental activists. Traffic gridlock in major cities and a rise in pollution levels that are already amongst the worst in the world. Today the levels are three to four to five times higher than the levels you will notice in US or European cities. And this means your eyes are watering, you will feel that suffocating sense, the choked lung, the, you know, the wheeze that doesn't go away. <laughs> These low-cost models may help the masses fulfill a dream, but if they are as popular as most predict, their legacy could be an environmental nightmare. Matt McClure, Al Jazeera, Delhi.